Um, so good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sampil Huang. I am a third year internal medicine resident working at North Island Medical Center. Uh, today, I'm going to present a very interesting and a rare cancer case called malignant proliferating trachelumal tumors masquerading as common sebaceous cyst. So um, I believe most of people might have not heard about this diagnosis term. Uh, the malignant proliferating trachelumal tumor is a very exceedingly rare skin cancer, and it is a transformation of trachelumal cyst. Trachelumal cyst is called also called as pillar cyst, is stem from the hair follicle area. So um, let's get into our patient first. Um, so our patient is a 60-year-old female. Uh, she does not have any significant past medical history. The reason why she visited the clinic is because um, the nodules on her back is start to bothering her. So that's why she decided to come to the clinic. Um, she did not have any fevers, no chills, no weight loss or night sweats whatsoever. And the patients did notice that there were a loss of nodules started to development from all over her body. On skin examination, there was a nodular skin lesions on her scalp, back and left lateral thigh area. And some of the lesions on the back looks a little bit inflamed and was violaceous and a little bit tender. So uh, the patient was diagnosed with inflamed sebaceous cysts and received antibiotics. And after a course of antibiotics, uh, the patient inflammation resolved. And then the patients did undergo biopsy of one of her skin lesions because the patient had numerous skin lesions on her back. And um, you can see the pathology report, uh, pathology slide on the right upper side of my poster. It shows a trachelumal keratinization and lobular proliferation of squamous cell, which was consistent with malignant proliferating trachelumal tumor. Since the tumor itself is very rare, there's no any uh, solidified treatment plan for this case. And also the patient had multiple, multiple tumors on her back. So the patient was transferred to the tertiary care center for further management and the treatment. So from this case, I would like to increase the awareness of malignant proliferating trachelumal tumor. As I mentioned, it is very exceedingly rare. It only constitutes 0.1% of original of skin cancers. Um, however, as I mentioned, it can present as a benign skin disease, such as sebaceous cyst. Therefore, the physicians always hold a high level of um, suspicion for possible malignancy, even with this benign condition. And especially when the physician encounters sebaceous cyst, it's actually recommended to remove surgically to make sure there's an actual sebaceous cyst. Um, secondary, I also want to emphasize the importance of um, annual skin examinations. So I know that annual examination is time consuming and is actually omitted a lot in a private care setting. And even though it is getting done, um, lots of physicians just see the visible skin part, let's say the arms or leg. However, the annual skin examination should be done very thoroughly, including all the part of the body from head to toe, including intertriginous area and hidden area. And whenever there is a suspicious lesions, and it should be removed surgically and pathologically confirmed. So um, this is the end of my poster presentation.